A typical soldier is Joseph Plum Martin, a young farmer from Connecticut. In a diary which he will keep for the seven years of the war, he records the day of his enlistment. The last year when I saw my friends marching off, I went home, bit my fingernails, imagining them all telling me of their exploits, swaggering home, their hairbreadth escapes. So I took up a pen, made my mark, and joined. You now they make you sign up for a whole year. I was just hoping to get a priming before I took on the whole coat of paint of a soldier. The soldiers come from all over. The sovereign state of Maryland, the plantations of Virginia, and the wilderness of New Hampshire. Many young men have never been away from home. They are meeting people from other states for the first time in their lives. You know, they put me in this regiment, half New Englanders and half Pennsylvanians. There's folks as different as night and day. And myself, I'd rather be fighting with a tribe of Indians than with these Southerners. I mean, the foreigners can hardly speak English. They don't like me either. I mean, they call me that damn Yankee. That's about the nicest thing they say. But we immediately start fortifying our positions. Fear is a great inspiration for hard work. I have my gun, canteen, knapsack, and a blanket. It's my first battle. Will I be able to kill someone else? 